guys, so I am here today with my August favorites, and that's just stupid ridiculous that it's already almost September, but yeah, I miss last month's favorites because I kind of forgot, and then when I remembered, I was like, oh, it's like halfway through August, I can't even do that, but yeah, but I don't, I haven't been trying a whole lot of new stuff lately, but I do have a few things to share, so I thought I would just do it, so yeah, let's start with nail polish as huge. The first polish I have I've talked about before and it's not new or anything, but it's from the James Bond collection last year and it's called Casino Royale. It's in my top 20, I think maybe even my top 10. I freaking love this nail polish. Um, I've It's not even fall yet, but I am ready for fall as you will see with my stuff. So I thought this was a good transition color. It's just a really good like light plum but dark at the same time. I don't know. It's so, so, so good. So yeah, I wore this earlier this month and I loved it. So yeah. And then the next polish favorite I have is Incognito in Sausalito. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's from the new San Francisco collection. It's a re I talked about this in my last haul video, which was for the OPI um, San Francisco collection. It's just a really, really good deep navy blue and I'm obsessed and yeah, I can't wait to try the rest of these polishes. But when I finally make my fall um, polish picks, these both will be in them, so look out for that. Now, as some of you may know, because I think I told you on this channel, but I am currently doing Hairspray the Musical, and it is a beast of a show, and I am, like, s profusely sweating the entire time, and it's disgusting. And I was really, really worried about my makeup, and I was going to go buy some, like, high-quality crap to just stay on my face, but I kind of realized, like, no matter what I use, it's not going to stay... It's just not gonna stay. And I, I, they have all these things that make you stop sweating, but I feel like that's terrible for your skin. So I just wanted something to set it. And I already owned this and my friend who's a makeup artist was like, you have that, just try and use that and see if it works. And it totally does. And it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I spray this before I put it on and then after. It doesn't stay like 100% perfect because I'm literally sweating buckets, but it keeps it a lot better than if I didn't use this. So I've been using this every time I have a show, and yeah, we've only had one weekend of shows so far, but I have seven more weeks to go, and so this will be gone by the end of that. Also, I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last favorites, but it has been an absolute favorite, and it is the L'Oreal, L'Oreal, Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This color is rose ivory, and it's a little bit too dark to try and work it in for my entire face. I use my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint, but this, it's so like illuminizing that I just put a little bit on my fingers and kind of like work it in the center of my face and work it out and I just look so much better <laughs> if, I, if I do that. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that a lot if like I have actually something to do that day and I'm not just sitting around um, and I want to look fancy. I've been using this and I really, really like it. I like Laura Mercier. I'd like to try some more of her products. So yeah. For a blush favorite this month, I don't know why I like don't use this more often, but it is Max Gentle, and this is a mineralized blush, and it is so so pretty. It's just a really good dark rosy pink, and it's got some shimmer to it, so you don't have to use a highlighter if you don't want. I usually do because I like to highlight, but yeah, it's just really really pretty. It's been looking, you know, it's a little bit darker than like my bubblegum pinks, but I really really like it, and I feel like it looks good on me. So yeah. I have been obsessed with this, and it is the um, Benefit Hula Bronzer. It's nothing out of the ordinary, but I didn't have it before, and I just recently got it, and I've been using it every single day. I'm wearing it today. I'm not wearing anything but it today. I didn't even wear blush today. I just freaking love this stuff, and yeah, so I don't, I just really, really like it. I feel like it's good for my skin tone. It'd be good for a lot of other skin tones, and yeah, I'm just completely obsessed. I've been reaching for nothing else when it comes to bronzer, and yeah. Also for the show, um, for some unknown reason, they, they've they been giving me MAC makeup. They're like, here, wear this for this, and wear this lipstick for that. So I've gotten like two lipsticks and an eyeliner, and it's great. I'm like, okay, I accept. And I, I think I probably told you guys this before, but I think I look terrible in all lipsticks. Like, I just feel like I look crappy. But I actually feel like I look amazing in this one. And it is MAC's Girl About Town. And it's just this really hot, vibrant bluish pink. It's just like, it's more of like a magenta, I guess, actually. It's so pretty, and I wear this for pretty much the entire show. Um, and yeah, so also these stain your lips pretty well, so it's like I can put it on and then kind of blot the wetness of it away and the color still stays there because I'm worried about like my wig or whatever getting stuck in it or like it getting on my teeth. I'm always afraid of that, but um, yeah, it kind of sucks getting it off, but 
I mean, I look amazing in it, so whatever. I could wear it all night if I wanted to. But yeah, I've really, really been liking this, and I'm happy they gave it to me for free. This is kind of a random favorite, but it is the Dove Clinical Protection Prescription Strength Wetness Protection with Moisturizers, whatever, in Cool Essentials. I mainly got this because I was getting the um, deodorant balls, which are disgusting and really embarrassing. And my sister's like, you won't get them if you use this. And I don't. So I've really been liking this. Um, as far as, like helping with my sweat. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it just feels better than the regular stick deodorant, and I love Dove, so yeah. I'm a little early with this favorite, but I've already started with my Yankee Candle Pumpkin Spice, and you're gonna see a lot of pumpkin crap in the next few months because it's my favorite and I'm the, my absolute happiest when it's fall time, and this candle just smells like my birthday. Oh, and it just makes me the happiest person on this planet, so yeah, so I've been burning this. This is actually, I actually already burned up the one I had from last year and I bought another one, so yeah. But yeah, let's get down to music favorites because they have quite a few. I've been dabbling with the new Robin Thicke CD and my favorite one is Ain't No Hat For That. It's just, that CD's like good, like easy listening, like you're just like jamming, you know? So I like that CD for that purpose. Best song ever by 1D. Harry Styles is my life, and yeah, I love that song. I was a huge Jesse McCartney fan back in the day, and I've been following him on Instagram, and he like Instagrammed a picture of his new single, so I bought it, and I freaking love it. And everybody I play it for is like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And it's called Back Together, so definitely check that out because it is jamming. I also have been loving Ariana Grande. I've been listening to the Right There song featuring Big Sean a lot. And then she released a song with the guy from The Wanted, I can't remember his name, Nathan Sykes or something? Yeah, Nathan Sykes. Um, it's called Almost Is Never Enough, and it's going to be on her album, but they also released it on the um, Mortal Instruments City of Bones soundtrack. <coughs> Excuse me. So I bought it there, and I, oh my god, she's crazy, she can sing anything. And I've also already previewed her entire album on iTunes, and I cannot wait, so yeah. Okay, so I think that's it, that was a quick favorites video. I didn't have a whole lot to say, but at least you got to see my face and spend some quality time with me. <laughs> and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon with a new video, hopefully about nail polish. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.